Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. Today I am filming in my office because my girl Winnie came over yesterday and I had all of my thrift store stuff laid out on the floor in the living room. And y'all know I can't have that because Winnie likes to pick up everything and play with it. So I had to pack everything up and bring it back here in my office. So this is where we are going to record some thrift haul videos today. I am on a recording spree today. So this is an estate sale thrift haul. And it is a Mario uh, run estate sale. And it was out in North Tonawanda. So while I was out that way, the Salvation Army out there was only two minutes from the estate sale. So I also went to the Salvation Army and got some great stuff. So that, that video will be coming up. But... Anywho, I got some great items at this estate sale. I'm pretty excited about the stuff that I got. Okay, let's get into this haul. I am very excited. All right. The best thing, well, one of the best things I found was, and, and thank God my buddy, oh, I forgot his first name. He always seems to work in the kitchen at the estate sales. Oh, Rich. Maybe his name is Rich. I, he found me the cord for my 1930s coffee pot. Woohoohoo! Yes, so that coffee pot is going to be in my sale on Saturday. So, yes, this was a fantastic find. So, thank you, Rich. Woohoo! Yay! I found a rolling pen. <laughs> so, I have another one to thrift flip. I was happy. Happy girl. Happy girl. There it goes. It's going to roll to the other side. All right. I found some Anna Lees, and they are so stinking cute. We have, let's see, does this one go? This one goes with her. They are Easter ones, and they are absolutely adorable. Oh, look at how cute. Oh, my goodness. So we got the Annalise. I'm going to set them back here. I got a Pilgrim one. Oh, my goodness. I got this adorable little... Look at her. She's got an ostrich feather hat on. She is all duded out in her Easter best. And then there's this little guy as well. Carrying. Oh, no, it's a girl. I'm sorry. I think. No, it's a guy. It's a guy. Carrying an Easter egg. But the best one is this one. Look, it's a snowman one. I did not know they made snowmen. O-M-G. He is the best. <laughs> I love him, love him. Okay. Now for a couple boring things. I bought these for myself. I needed some extra hammers in the house. I wanted one for out in the garage and I wanted one for the basement. 
And then I have one that I keep under my kitchen sink. So these I got for me. I know it's pretty scary, me with a hammer, but actually I'm pretty darn good with a hammer. Ask my exes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Then I got this blue cornflower tea kettle. Just got to clean it up. <laughs> then I got this vintage sifter. Foley. That's a nice one. Let me go back to the boring stuff. Wait, I gotta bring this bag over here. Ugh! I got myself some food. I got a can of breadcrumbs. Now, they're not flavored, but I just flavor them as I use them. So I got breadcrumbs. Then I got three boxes of pasta. Three boxes. I got a box of minute rice. None of these have been opened, by the way. I like to use the minute rice when I'm making rice for like stuffed peppers or whatever. So, and then I was out of sweet relish, so I got a jar of sweet relish. And I got an almost full can of Krylon Clear Spray, and y'all know I use a lot of this stuff. So that was a nice find. So that was the food stuff that I got for myself. You know, I always like to find useful stuff. Okay, then I found this. Uh, this was in the basement. I got this little cedar box that I will do a thrift flip on. Um, oh, I got, let's see, six tablecloths. I got... This is our this one is a round one. It's a beautiful lace round tablecloth. Um, and I'm pretty sure these are made by the Quit is it Quaker or no? There's a label on here, but I can't make out what it says. This one might not be, but it's a round one. It's got a pretty floral pattern. This one I think. <clears throat> is the Quaker. And this one is a rectangular, I think, or whatever. It's very pretty. I'm looking to see if there's a tag on it. Hold on. Hmm. I know there's no, like, um, stains on these tablecloths. No, there's no tag. Um, cause I, I opened them up and checked them out really well. Um, this one, this one has a tag. Yeah, this one is a Quaker one. I'm pretty sure the, this other one is too. This one is a round one. So three beautiful lace uh, tablecloths. Two are round and one is square or rectangle. Then I got these vintage ones. Look at these guys. Now this one, this one has a few, a few um, issues, but I could not pass it up. Um, it looks like she splashed like little drops of bleach 
Now I have to wash them, but look at this tablecloth. So um, it does have some, a few, this one is, I think was the only one that had some um, minor staining, but you can see, let me show you. I'll see like the little white, the little white splotches from the bleach. But I will um, wash this in retro clean. Um, I have to get more because I'm all out. But hopefully I'll be able to get any of the stains out that are in it. I mean, there's nothing I could do about the um, the bleach marks, but see, there's like some yellow staining on there. So we're going to see if we can get that out. If it doesn't come out, I'll just keep it for myself. Then I found this one. This one has no stains. Look at this one, guys. This one is a uh, rectangular. Um, oh, no, there is a stain here. And I don't know if that'll come out, but I'm going to try my um, my rust stuff on there. I don't know if that's blood or rust, but um, look at how beautiful this tablecloth is. Oh my goodness. I love this tablecloth. This would be beautiful for Easter. And I would say it's about a 52 by 50. It would fit my uh, my kitchen table. And the last one I got is this one. This one is round, and I love this. Look. Look at the pattern. Isn't that pretty? Can you see that? Yeah, look at this. Oh. So, I don't know. I think you could use this either way or either side. But it is beautiful. And this is the other side. So, all of these are going to get washed. So, loved the tablecloths. All right, now, I got this beautiful crystal vase, and it is in perfect condition. Look how pretty that is, and it's thick. It is just beautiful. Oh, I just love clear glass. I got this Fenton blue opalescent shoe with the cat, the cat coming out. I got this beautiful cranberry opalescent ruffled, <coughs> I'm going to call it a trinket dish. I got this, another beautiful blue opalescent hobnail nappy dish. These are all Fenton, by the way. Oh my God, you guys. I have to look these up because I don't know what the pattern is. And I'm pretty sure they're Fenton. Look at this creamer and sugar set. O-M-G. Oh. I could not believe nobody was grabbing this stuff. I'm like, that's okay. Thank you. I'll take it all. And I did. <laughs> I sure did. Because you know what? I knew I wasn't going back the next day for half off because I have to pack my orders on Sunday. So I just took what I could get. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Did I have fun. <laughs> now this, I don't know. This, I don't know if this is Fenton or Pilgrim Glass. I really don't know. Um, it does have um, like gunk. I have to, I have to soak this. But this is a gorgeous cranberry vase. And it's got like the indents on each side. Oh, it is beautiful. The Fenton Dot. Oh my gosh. My grandmother had a huge vase in her living room. It was either a vase or a pitcher in this pattern. Oh my goodness. If I knew then what I knew now, I would have snatched that. She had some beautiful glassware, my grandmother. Hold on to your underwear, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Holy shizzle. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. My hands and my arms were functioning like a trick hammer <laughs> when I was grabbing this stuff. <laughs> I'm telling you, okay? <laughs> yes. So that's the glassware. That is the glassware. Then I got this cute little um, willow tree angel. Uh, this one is called Angel of Caring. I always pick these up when I see them because my buddy Jeffrey Ross uh, gets them for his daughters. I got two mirrored vanity trays. They're in fabulous condition. Slightly different pattern. There's the pattern on that one. And then this is the pattern on this one. And boy, I got some beautiful trays. Now, the man, I believe, was a golfer. And these all have his name on them. But who cares? They're gorgeous. Look at this one. It's uh it's got feet on it, right? Look at the look at the detail. This is a beautiful tray. Now, um, I was looking to see, I'm sure it is silver plated, but I don't see a name on it anywhere. And, you know, I don't know, but I'm, I'm not going to touch this tray for a while because if somebody wants it like it is, uh, so I will leave it alone and I will not touch it until I find out if anybody wants it. Um, it is heavy, so it is it is beautiful. It is really beautiful. Um, then I got these trays. Now, of course, like I said, it's got his name on it. Uh, it's got engraving in the center. But you could always put like a paper doily on that or something else, you know, to cover that up if you wanted to use it. Or I can do a thrift flip on it. But it's beautiful and it is marked 
Wallace. I think it says Wallace on there. But this is a beautiful, um, I like the oval. So I got that. This one is also engraved. Uh, Western New York Public Links Golf Association Class A. His name was Ed Padlow. But I love the, the reticulated edge on that. And finally, I got this one. This one is engraved in the center as well. Um, it does have the feet. And here it is. This is very, very pretty. Now, I don't see any, any markings on this. I'm looking even on the feet and I don't see anything. So, um, yeah, this is beautiful as well. So I will be uh, doing some thrift flips with these um, items if uh, nobody wants them the way they are, which is, that's fine. So I'm just going to set these all down here and get them out of my way. Oh my Okay. All right. My last item, you guys. I know these sell for good money. I got a champagne holder. Oh, my goodness. Now, of course, it does have... An engraving right here, but it almost it almost fits in with the patina. And you could just turn it the other way. Now, here is the centerpiece. This is what it looked like before. So, it's definitely, this is made by Sheridan and it's silver plated. There is the marking on the bottom, if you guys can see that. So this would be beautiful, all polished up. If you like the tarnished look, perfectly fine. But this was a nice find. So, okay. So that, oh no, I got one more thing. Sitting right here in front of me, I got this set of Bakelite bar tools. We've got the olive fork or the cherry fork or whatever you want to use it for. We have the mixing spoon. The strainer. The corkscrew, which this is the first time I have found it with the corkscrew. And your bottle opener. So there we go. What did I spend on all of this loveliness? $268 and 92 cents. But of course, I purchased everything that day because I knew I couldn't go back for the half price. So I'm very happy with what I got and I can definitely double my money. Definitely. So let me know what y'all think in the comments below. What was your favorite thing that I got um, at this estate sale? Let me know. My favorite thing, I think, is definitely this beauty right here. Okay, this is a stunner. So, yes. So, let me know, guys. And uh, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. 
and uh, hit the notification bell so YouTube will let you know anytime I uh, upload a new video or go live. Uh, I do live sales every Saturday right here on my channel at 3 o'clock Eastern. So YouTube will let you know uh, that as well. And if you liked the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And also leave a comment below and share my video out to people that you know uh, enjoy thrifting. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.